Don't you just love getting into arguments with your friends? We're having a civilized conversation, talking all normal, and all of a sudden people start talking like this! And why can't we always think of the best comebacks for an argument? The day after the argument is over. And I know you've had people try to suck you into those pointless arguments, like if aliens exist, or if the Illuminati is real. Like, what are you gonna do with the rest of your day that you weren't gonna already do, knowing the aliens are real? Because at the end of it, you're gonna believe what you believe, I'm gonna believe what I believe, but now you wanna fight. And believe me, you don't want this problem. I beat Smash Brothers on hard mode. You don't want this problem, trust. And I seen Matrix 99 times. Today, you don't want this problem. Speaking of Matrix, I got in an argument one time with my girlfriend over Matrix. Her favorite thing was racism. If we were out eating and the table next to us got their food first, racism. She's playing a game online and she loses, racism. So I'm at her house one day and she busts out with, Hollywood is full of racism. Even your precious movie, Matrix, is full of racism. And see, I am well versed in anything that I like. So don't come at me and try my life. Um, well, what you don't know is the directors of Matrix stole the idea from a black lady and she won in court. However, comma, I'm positive that the whole movie is not some symbolic racism poke. And her aunts, uncles, and cousins were all at the house. And if you pull me into an argument, be very, very careful because nine times out of nine, I already have evidence to prove you wrong, but I'm gonna let you dig your hole deeper and deeper. Low key, I'm over here, bird man hand rub, cause I'm about to drop a bomb on all these turkeys. Neo's supposed to be Jesus. Guess who they got to play Neo? Keanu! Racism! You just don't see it because you're an Uncle Tom, Adonde. And I love when they start making personal attacks on you. What, well, anyways. So yeah, I let them go on like this for like 15 or 20 minutes. And then I dropped, oh yeah? Matrix is racist? Guess who was one of the first people they offered the role of Neo to? Will Flipping Smith. Boom! Drop the mic. Who's your daddy? Me. I showed them some videos of Will Smith's wife talking about how he got the role and he turned it down. This other time, I was in an Uber with my friend, and I don't know how we got on the topic, but then they said, yeah, when you die, it was your time to go. So I'm like, yeah, but no. There's no such thing as accidental death. When it's your time, it's your time. And sometimes when people sense during a debate that their argument is flimsy, they'll get all personal for no reason. Well, when I was a little kid, people broke into my house. They put a gun to my head and a knife in my mouth. But then they let me go because it wasn't my time. Okay, that's nice that they let you go. Um, and I'm sure you're a big fan of the Final Destination movies, but I don't think death is on some schedule and they look at the calendar like, oh, <laughs> time to kill him. When it's your time to die, it's your time to go! No exceptions! So you're saying death is predetermined on a time schedule and there's no exceptions? Hmm, okay. Um, what if we're speeding along in this Uber and I open the door and jump out and the car behind us runs me over? Does that mean it was my time? If that's how you see things, cool. I disagree with your theory and I'm gonna look down at my phone now. And the worst part about all this is when you lose friendships. Just because you don't see things the way they see things. First, that's not smart. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people, that's great. But think of the benefits by having a few people around who don't think like you. That's all I'm saying.